So then you didn't start out wanting to design a green product, it just ended up being a byproduct of, of the good engineering? No, we never do that. I hate greenwash. And um, the thing is, I employ young engineers. I always try and get graduates. And graduates are very idealistic, and they've been taught lean engineering at college, and I love lean engineering. So what we do is lean engineering. So our latest vacuum cleaners use far less plastic and are far lighter than the early ones, which doesn't make them any flimsier, because we mm -hmm. do really, really extensive testing trying to break them. Uh, but it means they're lighter and use less energy to make them and less plastic. Uh, and of course, they're cheaper to make. Um, so we can, because of that, we can put in more technology, which we otherwise wouldn't have been able to do. Hmm. But, you know, that's what engineers do. They're not marketing people with greenwash. They're engineers doing lean engineering, which they find exciting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's talk about your engineering team then, because now you are, of course, an international company and very well established. And you have how many people working for you? Uh, nearly 4,000. 4,000 people. So how do you continue that spirit of innovation, disruption, when you have 4,000 employees? Well, I try to always employ graduates um, because they have no fear. They have no experience. I don't want experience. I want people who haven't done something before and want to find a new and better way of doing it and who have no fear of failure because failure is so important. I mean, it, it's what you, you learn from it. If you, if you always succeed and always give the right answer, you're learning nothing. Right. So I want people who feel as though they're pioneering and want to do something in a different and better way. Um, and the funny thing is that these graduates, and when they become managers, and they want to employ someone, they always say, I want someone with experience. And it's laziness, it's because they think that the person coming in won't need to be trained, won't need to be helped. Which is, of course, quite the reverse, because you've got to knock their experience out <laughs> in order to get them back to be thinking originally. Um, and um, graduates are good straight away. You don't have to train graduates. They, they're brilliant straight away. I remember when I first started and I was making an upright vacuum cleaner. Most of the world buy canister vacuum cleaners, so I had to develop a canister vacuum cleaner. But my few engineers, all five of them, were busy on the existing product. So I, so I just hired a graduate straight from the Royal College of Art, where I came from. And I said, get on with it. We're going to do, a, you and I are going to do a, a cylinder, a canister vacuum cleaner together. And oh, that's lucky what guy. And it's the one sitting in MoMA, by the way, that one. So that was a graduate did that. So, so how early graduate? I mean, graduate, they're, these are, they've gone through graduate school or they're just like fresh out of college? Fresh out of college. Fresh out of college. Yeah. How and, are you, young? and you don't it's have to train them. The worst thing to do is to train them. Just get them doing something. And it's brilliant what they do. I mean, I don't have the ideas any longer. They all have the ideas because they have no fear, no experience. And, uh, and they're really enthusiastic and they want to change the world. So you really encourage them to just fail their way into success? Yes, product. yes, and I want to see their failures because it, that's what you learn from. I would say if you, if, you, um, if you go to a golf club and you sort of look at it, um, you learn nothing. If you break it over your knee, you learn the strength of the golf club and mm. what its yield point is. Mm. So failure is terribly important. It's terribly important in schools as well. I mean, the problem with schools is they only teach you to give the right answer. And you're bright if you give the right answer quickly. They don't teach you to learn by experience or learn by failure and have no fear of failure. 